Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Lentenda video. I've been a bit lazy with getting some videos out there uh, so I thought I'd make another best graphics video. This time I'll be doing it with the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis if you're in America. So stay tuned. Alright guys, getting started, uh, the emulator I will be using in this video is Kega Fusion, or now known as just Fusion. Um, I find this to be the best, there's, there's more options available in this emulator than there is on the Gens emulator, uh, however you can do this with the Gens emulator as well. Like I did with the SNES 9X emulator, I do like to try this with a few different games just to see what it looks like on different games. Uh, however, there's not that many options in terms of the video and graphic settings you can set in the Sega Mega Drive emulator. So the settings I set here uh, pretty much work with all games. Uh, you may even want to turn it off for some, but I'll show you what I do. Alright, I've got two emulators here side by side, uh, both on default settings at the moment. Um, I'll leave the one on the right hand side uh, to default uh, and I'll make all my changes to the one on the left here. The so first thing you want to do is head over to the video tab and the first change I make is I set it to scanize 25% you can see there it darkens it a little bit adds a bit of scan lines in there. Next change I make here is Turn off. I uh, turn turn on brighten. That brightens it up just a little bit. Um, now the next option here, it, it's optional. I mean, all, all these settings are really optional, but this one in particular, uh, it, it does make a bit of a difference. Uh, some people may or may not like this. Next one here is filtered. So I go ahead and uncheck this. As you can see there, it just makes the image a little bit sharper. You can see the pixel edges a little bit better. Um, if I go ahead and turn that back on, you can see there that it blurs it a little bit. Personal preference though, um, myself, I like to have it filtered off. I like to see those sharp edges. With that being set though, you can go through and then change the scan lines to a bit higher if you if you wish, um, but it does make the image a bit darker, so it is really up to you. There's really not that many options uh, in this emulator compared to the SNES 9X, uh, so I like to leave it at those settings there. Scan lines on 25%, brighten on and filtered off. There are some other modes here, TV mode RF, TV mode CVBS, um, but I find they tend to make the image look a little bit blurry. That one doesn't look too bad, but still, again, pretty blurry.
just loading up Aladdin here. Again, I'll make the same changes under the video tab. I'll go ahead and select scan lines 25%. Turn brightened on and turn filtered off. I'll go ahead and get into some gameplay now as well so you can see what that looks like on both sides. Again this is personal preference, uh, if you prefer you can go ahead and set the scan lines a bit higher um, but I find it makes the image a bit too dark as I mentioned earlier. In my opinion they need something in between 50 and 25%. But that's the best we can get with this emulator in particular. I'll go ahead and load up one more game uh, for you guys just so you can see the difference between a couple of different games. Um, I won't bother showing you again what settings I set because you can see those on screen now. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you can set the scan lines higher. Uh, with this game in particular, Snow Bros, it does look a little bit better with the scan line set to 50%. Whereas the other games, uh, in my opinion, didn't look as great uh, with the scan line set to 50%. The image looked a little bit darker. So Snow Bros here, you can get away with 50% scan lines. And that may be the same with other games as well. Uh, but the three that I've shown here, uh, so far only Snow Bros has looked good in my opinion at 50% and just to show you that you can also do this with the Gens emulator uh, I'll show you real quick here uh, with Snow Bros Under the graphic tab you can go ahead and turn off sprite limit and under the render section you can set your scan lines from there. By default it's set to normal and the sprite limit is on. Again on this particular emulator I think 25% looks the best um, but you can go through and change it. that doesn't look too bad right there so that one there I used is interpolated 25% it still comes back down to 25% in my opinion um, you can cycle through those and find the best one that suits you um, but again my personal preference is the 25% scan lines on the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis emulators. That was the best graphics in my opinion for the Sega Mega Drive and the Sega Genesis emulator. Again the emulator I've used here in this video is Kega Fusion or now known as just Fusion. If you like this video be sure to check out my other videos on the best graphics for the SNES 9X emulator as well as the SNES 9X EX Plus emulator for Android. Leave a comment below on your opinion if you'd like to set the graphic settings for emulators or not. Follow me on Instagram at 
super underscore Lintendo. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content. Thanks for watching.